Okay, so you've purchased my pack, or you're thinking of purchasing the pack. Um, so, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration as to how I created the models and how I, how I modelled them so they fit together nicely. So, let's start with the floor. Start with the floor piece here. If you press B twice, you'll go into full grid snapping mode, which is how I've designed these. So, every single piece, if you just build your houses and settlements and mansions or huts or whatever you build with this, if you build them all in the largest grid snapping mode, it, you'll find it much easier. So let's just let's just build a small small house to start with. So I've laid down the floor. Now let's get the wall. Now you'll see the walls can either snap to the outside of the floor, which is how I've designed them. So can you see how it snaps to the outside of the floor? That's how it works best. That's how I've designed them. If you want the best results, then you'll do that. The other option is to have them to sit on top of the floor, like these do. It's entirely up to yourself as to which way you go, but this is the way I've designed them, so I'm going to use it this way. Let's get a window on there. I'm going to rotate that because you, did you see it was actually on the floor? Can you see it's on the floor? I didn't design it to be on the floor, I designed it to be on the outside so it fits nicer. And you'll see why in a second. Let's get the archway in there and again you'll see it's sat on the floor. Rotate it 180 degrees and you'll see it sits flush. Okay, so next is the doorway, so the door fits in nice. Again, if you just rotate at 180 degrees, you'll see it fits in beautifully. And the door, obviously it's green because it's dynamic, it, al it already has a script attached to it, so you don't have to do anything to make it work. Um, you can have this door whichever way you want, but you'll see it's on top of the archway now. Um, if you just press enter, it will drop down into place really that simple um, and then let's get a ceiling up there now you'll see that the ceiling actually has uh, the same texture as the floor now that isn't the case it has the same texture on the floor on top of it but underneath it actually has a completely different texture so the ceiling has its has its own texture set and it works nicely and then we can get these roof corners press enter to get them to snap to the top if you there we go we've got a nice little house here and uh, no house is complete without a chimney obviously now with the chimney unfortunately you do have to go in and just drop it down a bit otherwise it'll look, it'll look a bit daft now you'll see these strange corner artifacts how it sort of comes along and then goes in where obviously the corners of the walls meet I did think of this when I was modeling so if you grab the corner pieces and just literally put those on the corner like I said this is still in that same snapping mode the best way for everything to fit together. Okay, and that's it. You're done. All you have to do is throw down a st start marker and you're off.